Hi guys, welcome to the season finale of the Wannabe Show. My name is Suraj Mata, and if you're watching me for the first time, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. I can't believe that this is the season finale. I mean, it feels great that it we have reached till here, and I feel happy and grateful that we could pull off something like this, which is not at all in my comfort zone. All thanks to you guys for watching and supporting. and you guys are awesome so on the season finale of the wanna be show we're going to be talking about social media if you're watching this on youtube we you can listen to the audio version on all major audio platforms you can find the links in the description and before we get into the podcast make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get all the notifications for the coming videos So let's talk about social media, and I have a guest on the show. So, guys, meet Mr. Gaurang Desai. He's a social media marketer and a growth consultant. You can follow him on Instagram, and I will leave a link in the description. So, what is up, brother? How are you? All good, all good. It's a Christmas holiday, right? Just chilling out, right? I'm glad that we are doing this on this day, right? Yeah. Things are smooth. Yeah. So can you give us a brief about your job as a social media marketer? Yeah, sure. So I'll, I'll just give you a brief of what I have done and you know uh, how I started the journey of social media marketing and you know. So uh, basically I'm from Vijayawada, right? Uh, I was born and brought up here, did my schooling here in Vijayawada. Uh then after 12th I moved to Bombay, right? I was doing my mass graduation in uh, 3D animation and VFX, right? Okay. So I did that for one year, and you know I understood what the industry is gonna be, or you know if I'm the right fit into that industry or not. Uh, I got to know, and then I decided to you know to drop out the college, right? And then eventually I started my first e-commerce business, right? Uh, it was into we were dealing with various products which were into luxury travel and you know Swiss made watches and whatnot. right so uh, i started with my first business right uh, i was probably in the second year of my college right uh, where oh, wow. i actually yeah so i had like uh, i started the business with like around about 30000 bucks at that particular time it's again i'm talking way back in 2011 or something right uh, it was a smooth journey right the first year it was very hard. for me as i was pretty young and you know people were not taking me seriously because a young chap coming and talking about business to people right who are already there in the market right so it it got me difficult right it got me difficult so that's why eventually i focused in learning skills like you know the uh, communication skills in terms of building myself you know in the way i present to people about my products or services and all right and that's how the journey started i did the e-com business for 4 years right uh, from right. 2011 to 2015 right uh, and then eventually due to certain issues right i had to stop that right and then i took a break for 6 months and i was just sort of chilling out at home itself doing nothing right you know again like 4 years back 5 years back i was like took a break for 6 months it's like you know people are like at my age they had got done with the studies probably getting in a job and i was just chilling at home like you know my parents are pampering me that you know what what are you doing right so that's where at that time i was uh, looking out for you know what what kind of opportunities i can do right me as a uh, i come from a third gen uh, third generation business right like my family oh. is into business for a while now right uh, and for me it's always been business either you know uh, it can be anything right and then eventually at that particular point of time right social media was something which was exciting and you know i always wanted to do it right i i remember my uh, initial days when i used to you know help people with getting facebook likes and all by just inviting right having so many friends on my facebook and then uh, sending request of their page so that you know they can get likes and all that was how i started but I eventually oh, wow. right yeah so major things i have learned everything self taught i just googled youtube and you know uh, did that and then eventually a friend of mine started a agency in bombay right and he offered me a job as a junior social media manager right so again there was a basic interview and just just got it 
uh, and then that's where I again ba went back to Bombay and you know uh, I started my journey right learning things how how social media works you know uh, how digital space works what are the things and all so at that point of time we were handling a lot of youtubers and you know our major clients were musicians and all right so people there, there were very big names uh, where which we were handling and that's that's how you know i got involved in social media right understood all the platforms which are there what is working what is not working testing out things and all right and then eventually i worked there for a year or so and i left the job and started freelancing right oh, so right. like since past four years now i have been freelancing so major part was the the first business which i did right uh it helped me in gaining a lot of network right i built my own network right and in today's date as well right whatever business i get is all through my network because i don't need to go at for any cold contacts or you know majorly everything comes through reference and you know that's how it has been started right and it's been going pretty well now right i have been exploring a lot of things experimenting things right uh, and then eventually yeah now probably i'm focusing on my personal branding you know because that is something now everyone is needs to focus on because at the end of the day you need to show your face people need to know who you are rather than you know even if you run a company as well right you need to there should be a face of a company right so most of the people ask me that you know where do you work so i say that you know i work from coffee shops right so they get like how do you work from coffee shops right so i just tell them that you know that uh, my business is online i just need a laptop i just need my coffee and i sit and i work you've been here for a while no so you seen facebook then and facebook now and you've seen this you know you've been yes watching the scene I'll for 10 years I I I'll tell you how I saw Facebook or how actually I came to know Facebook when I was in school right uh, probably I was in round about 8th standard or 9th standard right so they used to uh, there used to be a guy uh, you know who used to visit very often US right uh, so he used to go probably 6 months stay there 6 months stay here right and then uh, I didn't had uh, internet at my place so I used to go to a cafe right which was next to my house itself right you know so one fine day right you know this guy sits with me and you know he he's using a pc i'm using a pc right uh, and then i saw that you know he was entering something called as facebook right this is talk i'm talking in way back in 2004 2005 right wow. uh, and like it was something new like you know I, then I, none of my many any of my friends has it so i i, I got to know because a, a, some guy from us had come down to vijayawada and probably you know in my right and then that's how i explored facebook right so uh, yeah so it, it's been i have been a part of facebook or probably major social media uh, platforms earlier they used to be tagged earlier there used to be friendster myfi right then uh, there was uh, myspace as well and many other right yeah. so the, this this is how the journey has started right uh, like i have seen the growth of facebook from yeah. the start like from 2006 to now 2020 right uh, it's like 16 years now tell me how has it been like the evolution of social media and how it is affecting our lives what do you think is changed uh, see obviously everything has a you know good and bad things of it right it's again in our control of what we do but yeah uh, in terms of uh, probably i would talk in terms of business side right social media or uh, or the digital space is one of yeah. the best ways to do business right because you you have a platform of people around the world right whom you can sell your products or services right. so that is something you know which can be cannot be done from a brick and mortar store or a, from one place right and again if you see the cost in terms of uh, having a own store in every city or every country it's going to be huge right when compared to you know having just an instagram account and doing the business that is how important it is uh, social media today right so you know it's 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 simple you need to understand the aesthetics of it right probably you know again most of the things are clear over here that you know what message you want to give it to your customers what the, the way you build your brand right uh, it has to be clear and it's it's simple 
right there is no uh, rocket science into it right so it's probably you know uh, a easy way to go start with a low cost probably i i remember my first client uh, it is it's called as mooch design studio it's based out of bombay right uh, so uh, their instagram handle is my.mooch right uh, so this the, this client is a friend of mine who studied product designing in, in uh, italy and came back and you know one fine day he called me gorang like you know bro i've got this product and you know i want to market this i said him the very first thing i said bro start an instagram account right uh, okay. and the very first thing i asked him like you know get your product should basic product should done get started with instagram and that's how they started it and it's been like 4 years now uh, okay. probably 5 this year uh, it's 5 years and they have right around 46000 followers on instagram and okay. their whole business is running on instagram they don't even have a website nothing and everything is going organic oh right. that's insane like like they making good sales of around about 2 to 2 and half lakhs just on instagram on a monthly basis right selling handcrafted stationeries and what not right make various products right so uh, so it's it's it, it's been more uh, diversified right and it gets easier so also one thing is that that you know on digital spaces the early you adopt the platform the easier you get uh, on the long way Right. Mm, right people think that you know uh, th- they might be saying that you know hey you know i just started my instagram i need followers i need this you need to have patience it's <laughs> it's not a click away that you know you're going to get uh, followers or something like that right so th- that is how, that is how it's been right everyone is curious everyone is you know uh, and also what happens is people start comparing their brand or you know their uh, content with some other people's content right for some it works for some it doesn't work so you need to figure out a way which works for you right so i have always been doing lot of hacks in terms of social media right there are hundred of hacks i do and what i follow is the hack which is working for me right i use that and i keep on using that because one hack gives you a million dollar man right yeah. uh, you never know you never yeah. know which hack it is right yeah, yeah, yeah. so you need to keep testing keep testing and then yeah. you know you need to build it out that's true yeah you know this is something everybody wants to know this is something <laughs> like everybody asks how do you get more followers on instagram <laughs> <laughs> that's that's an interesting question though right so getting more followers there are many ways of doing it right uh, see again earlier there are many people who who do believe who have bought followers right uh, and then you know they have done various things right but none of these doesn't work any now right uh, none of these work right so you know probably the best ways of doing or getting more followers is focusing on your content right see what your people are liking it right okay. and then eventually probably the best ways are doing collaborations right uh, with the similar kind of content of a person, so similar kind of person right probably you and me can collaborate on one thing and you know that's how we exchange our followers right so if you, if you see a lot of big brands what they do they do influencer marketing influencer marketing is something why because you know the the influencers who like can see the brand and the brand gets started following right yeah. so majorly collaborations are something which is there and then probably keep on consistently keep working and posting content putting out there right what i believe is what a people are trying to do is they are trying to create rather than creating i would suggest you know i believe in documenting things right that is more easier people want to know like you know what are you doing right now right, right? everyone is excited uh, about you know what, what you want what you are doing right now right and that is something which excites right and things you know again uh, probably you would also ask that you know what is how how to get viral as well right there is no pathway of getting viral man yeah. right uh, i know this is coming but yeah i just like you know i'll just say it out right there is there is no single strategy of getting viral of course so let's say like like you you take examples out there man there are many examples right so uh, so i have been listening to this uh, the this uh, band called as the local train right for a while now 
right and then uh, so they have released few songs like 2 years 3 years back and then which which have actually got uh, you know into the fame right now like during lockdown and all these things right we even chai met toast as well i've listened to them right so they have done few songs which are which are like in 2 years 3 years back very good videos and all but again what happens is uh, you know uh, now like you know it, uh, there is as there is no structure right that you know you need to use this you need to use this you need to use this to get viral right so so it it is always like you know you need to work hard create content probably out of 100 one content would be something which would get you viral so so that's how it works right uh, apart uh, how to grow more followers probably you know you can also run ads on your facebook account or instagram account right that is one way right where you can build your brand awareness probably doing brand awareness activities showing that you know this is what you create uh, and apart in in terms of organic ways you know probably uh, using right hashtags you know the hashtag strategies out there which can be used right you know engaging with other people's content is something which can bring you more followers as well right like you know let's say what i do or what i see is right you know uh, so i i choose right five to six accounts uh, which i can engage with them daily right content uh, you right know i just go to their posts see the content put out valuable sense like put out two lines three lines of something which is informative or valuable to that particular content uh, creator or you know or a brand or a product or whoever it is right and that's bringing out value is something which is important right so and that's that's how you would start gaining followers engaging with other people's content is obviously important and you know that is the mere way to go right so nothing uh, there is there is no strategy to get 100 100k followers in a day right or probably if that would be there like you know everyone would be having 100k followers right so there's you you just need to understand your content analyze like you know what you're posting what you're doing and then yeah eventually you could go man tell me how do you reach new audience on instagram because instagram is the big thing now so i'm asking you mm-hmm. about instagram right now as I, as i told you right uh, it's a similar way you want to reach new audience go to go to creators who put out engage with uh, the audience which you want to attract right Right. so that is something uh, you know so let's say you want to get my audience so what you do is you you come to my profile you you know probably comment or whatever you give me a valuable information right and peek on you know people see that and that's how you get new audience right so again there are no one single strategies of getting new audience you need to experiment and see what is working with you right so that is that is how it works so how consistently should we post on our social media platforms there is there is no such number but you know uh, like there are there are platforms which would say right if it's a instagram you need to do i would suggest if you're doing on instagram do a three post a day right oh. or uh, you know yeah that's a lot right? uh, exactly it's a lot right so again uh it's it's all depends it it all depends right you know For, like i have been quite less active on instagram due to my other works and all but yeah right uh see again the purpose what you want to give it to people is also important right so you know so the again i'll tell you right you know i don't want to justify that you know these are the numbers do this and you'll get uh 100% mm. ratio of success or something there's no such way yeah. right probably you can try with one to two posts or three posts a day then you see what is working right you know again as i told you it's all about experimenting right every profile is different every you know a uh, person is different every content is different right? right so there is no one such strategy which would go obviously there are basic strategies out there right uh, which would go with everyone right but then when it comes to niche and you know when it comes to you need to know an experiment like what time it is probably use insights facebook insights and see or uh, instagram insights and see that you know what time people are active right post that right you know going live on facebook and instagram is something which which can eventually do that or probably you can go one day once a week you can go for a live or probably you know that influencers do it every day right so yeah. you know understand uh, which which is something you know how, how do you want to present yourself right 
so uh, like you know again it's all about bringing value to people out there right so you know let's say if you're gonna post something which is it gonna bring value to people right be it be it anything right mm. so be it a fun comedy or a comedy video or a real a reel or something or you know or a post kind of thing or an infographic or you know a corazel post you know it's it's all about bringing value right so you know so i wouldn't i wouldn't uh, you know stick with something like you know keep one one post or two post a day or like uh, like you know sometimes i do 10 stories man and that works for me 10 oh. stories in a day right oh every so, day so yeah yeah so like you know 10 stories a day right or 15 stories a day or you know probably uh, i i do three to four posts a day right again it it differs it differs right you know for various various for even for my clients as well i try and test out various various things but consistency is very important is the key the yeah. the only only thing is consistency like you know so that is very important and that that is the only thing man like even in life it's just a basic thing of life that you know if you want to achieve something you need to be consistent yeah so tell me should we be active on one platform or should we be active on all platforms like a lot of platforms uh that's a difficult question though but i'll tell you it's very simple right uh, so i would suggest you know choose two platforms right uh, okay. which you can maintain because hundreds of platforms you know every platform is different from one another right so like you know you do something on facebook uh, that wouldn't work on instagram but it might work on twitter but not on linkedin or not on snapchat yeah. right you need to see uh, you know which platform you're comfortable with right and start working on that right if you are if you are a creator or if you are a podcast host or if you are uh, someone like that right you know or a content creator right use instagram as a profile uh, as a as a as a to uh, you know a platform you can use youtube as a, a platform right uh, then there are lot of apps out there right so again you need to see and you know you need to uh, see what is working with you right okay. uh, and what are you comfortable with right uh, are you comfortable in con- uh, making long videos and all do youtube and instagram right mm. so like that okay. you know so you need to see where your audience is so let's say if you be on a uh, 10 platforms right there is there is no point you are using the same content in 10 platforms it doesn't work right exactly. because every platform has a different type of audience and you know the way of messaging to them is way different on the other platform so let's say instagram is something where you can you know you can you can be very cool and you know you can be very like i'll, I'll just give an example right so let's say you can use words like ass fuck whatever it is right on instagram but you can't use them on facebook uh, nor on linkedin right so so that is how it is right you need to see where your audience is right so if if you are good at writing probably use twitter right yeah. so if you if you're good at making videos videos you use instagram or youtube right uh, so that that is how it is like you know you need to figure or you need to understand what are the best platforms according to your content or right. according to your niche yeah, right, right. distributed in all the platforms like and see again you know eventually you grow so let's say if let's say two platforms you build right on one platform let's say I'll, i'll just give an example right so let's say you build instagram for one year right and you get good number of followers good number of audience good number of traction right so what you can do is as you have already built one platform right uh, you know you can ask them to follow you on if they really like your content then you can ask them to follow on your uh, youtube right? right so do do you do you, uh, probably it 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 gets your way easier it it makes you easy your work is easy that you know you already built one platform and then you know you're asking them to switch to another platform it's like yeah right hey suraj you know we like your content yes we would follow you on youtube man yeah build an audience and then you can grow in different platforms so what advice do you want to give to someone who is not getting enough reach right now so if 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 someone is not getting enough reach like you know probably they need to figure out what 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 is going wrong probably the content is going wrong or the way they are putting it is going wrong the timing is going wrong they need they need to self analyze it like you know they need to do the due diligence of it right and understand 
probably you know yeah. and see that's what again like you know as i tell you that experimenting is always a good thing like you know you need we always experimenting right. it right so that that would be that would be making things easier you're getting it so you know uh yeah so th- as i told you right again there's one, no one such strategy which would work right you know we need to see what is working and then you know you get it go how do you engage people on social media how do you engage people on social yeah. media right as I, as i told you the strategy right you engage with other people's content right and start engaging with your own content right, right. H- how do you engage like probably you can give me an example i'll give you an idea like how do you make people watch you again and again like every week you put out a video and you want people to watch it how do you make them attracted are you giving them value sure yeah so just you need to think right is that value good enough for them it's something you need to give value uh, like whatever content you are creating right now is bringing them value why, why do you what do you what 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 reels do you watch actually i don't watch reels okay so what what what, what content do you consume i mostly consume posts like photos of other people like yeah. and stories okay. that's all aha uh-huh. so what brings you what attracts you there so i consume a lot of memes exactly that's a lot of comedy content that entertains me and i follow few interesting people like celebrities and like other friends right that's all. so yeah. so you you are interested in their lives right that's why you are mm-hmm. uh, right mm-hmm. because they they are probably a good creator they are probably you know they are good influencers or probably they are good celebrities or something right you like that and you know you have been following that and it's a mm-hmm. similar way with you as well right you know probably you you bring that value or bring, you bring that talent or whatever it is you have in it right and show it to people right once okay. people start liking it they will come again and again and again and again and again, again to you <laughs> Yes or no? Yes, yes. Right. It's it's always you you analyze on yourself, right? Okay, this is a profile I'm going again and again and again, right? Why? Mm-hmm. Because I like the content. Because I like the way they are doing it. Probably the comments section, you know, what people are commenting on it. It's more of gossip, right? Gossip everyone <laughs> loves. Yeah. <laughs> right. So so that's how it is. you know you need to analyze yourself okay uh, you need to ask yourself okay suraj you know what has been working this week on instagram for me right uh, or what 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 content has gone you know a go- has got a good reach right why it has got a good reach right you know you see on that and and then you know uh, um, make content according to that okay so tell me tell me one strategy that anybody anybody can use right now that can make them grow one strategy put out valuable content all right okay that's the strategy put out you content recommend? put out content right like you know so what, what, put put out content like let's say if you are a business like you know talk about your product talk about educate your people is something which is important right so you know you need to educate people uh it can be informative content it it can be you know it can be a meme as well meme education as well like you know there are there, there are ways of educating people right it just that you know how creative we are with your content is that, that is important so tell me what advantage does social media marketing give to a new business we social media about, marketing yeah about mooch so, yeah mooch right yeah so So again like a company like Mooch which was when it was started right there was a small startup based out of Bombay right and they were making everything from home and they were handcrafted uh, books handcrafted pens stationery customized designs and all right so what impact again as i told you right the whole business started with instagram right mm. so how it evolved 
is something because uh, like in 2004 16 right you know people there are a lot of people on instagram they were active and you know so we started trying and testing out uh, on started putting on posting on instagram uh, and started sharing it with everyone and people started following us and you know uh, then eventually see it the in, in the initial stage yes social media gives you a push right for some for some companies it can be a brand recall right okay. but for, uh, right so let's say so let's say if you see mcdonalds right for mcdonalds social media is always a brand recall right so i guess you know it's it's a great start for one to start uh, you know their business on digital spaces majorly instagram facebook and linkedin using other platforms for different different purposes and all right uh, it is uh, you know it gives you a reach like you know so let's say when you go offline right you are limited to one space right but here on the digital space you are you have a numerous audience not only from one particular location but geographically you're vast right you can someone from us can buy your product someone from you know italy can buy your product someone from australia can buy your product it's because online right mm-hmm. so you can reach to that kind of audience itself right but yeah. let's say if you have a offline how would you do that would you, again 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 it, the cost the cost when you start an online business and an offline business differs right oh, so you need to get a store out there you you know you need to have an office or something just you can just sit at home and start man as simple as that i i, I run my business from a coffee shop exactly simple yeah. right once i i work for like 2 3 hours 150 bucks a coffee that's it right my work is done probably i make triple or fourble of whatever i spent in that one particular trip for that 3 hours right so that's how it works right you know uh yeah so understanding and uh, you know branding probably strategizing that you know what kind of message you want to give to them to your audience or to your customers is that and i'll tell you for the new businesses when they are there entering social media channels or something they need to have patience a lot of lot of startups a mm. lot of companies they don't when they start new on social media they don't have patience they lack patience right so they need to have patience at least for one month two months three months not because not on the single day they're going to get a customer right they need to hold they need to invest their time it's like you know so let's say you take up a shop right uh, you you open a brick and mortar store you take a empty space what you do next you build up interiors right mm. interiors once you do the interiors and all once you put on all the products out there right uh, you know once the store is ready what do you do then then you market it right in the similar way the social media also works like you know probably you build a cha- you create an instagram account you know put out all the content out there you know uh, slowly slowly you add the aesthetics to it and then you market it right mm. it's a similar way the ba- the basics are always the same everywhere right so you know that, that's how it, if your basics are strong you know once on, even on social media as well the basics basics things has to be strong enough so that you know they can eventually grow foundation has to be lay, uh, laid in a very right way right you know let's say if you're crea- creating a building a huge building right obviously your foundation has to be strong or else the building would fall right? right so that is that is how it is and then there are numerous strategies which can be worked out you know every business has a different strategy go to some there let's say uh, if it's if it's a restaurant or a, uh, uh, if it's a restaurant you know probably or a local business they can use google my business you know and promote their products or services over there right that brings you good value right if you, if they are into uh, you know homemade decor or you know any kind of uh, thing or any kind of product service they can use instagram and you know they can build the platform out there right they can uh, build the business out there right so that that is that is how it works right you know coming up with a good creative probably you know having good copies probably brand positioning messaging right these these are the few aesthetics which needs to be done right yeah. so yeah and 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 everything is out there you know everything is out there probably you can google it and you get ideas you get things you know uh, at least in the basic level everything 
all the information is out there just you need to know which is the right information which can be used and you know mm. and use it and apply it because i remember i have been using or you know i have been learning about social media every single day by just by google and youtube these are the two platforms and because the content everything is free you don't need a course to do it you just need to you know research and you know you need to see uh, what 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 kind of thing you want to do right so that's mm-hmm. how and finally how is it being on the season finale of the one up show it's amazing man <laughs> it's been super fun right i'm i'm glad that i did it uh, it's been like a long time i haven't done any podcast yet so yeah it's it's super fun right it's good it's it's good to share knowledge it's good to share experiences because uh, at the end of the day you make the world a better place right probably with information with things you know it's always helping our people i'm glad that you did it on my show so i am thank you so much thank you so much for watching that episode guys i hope you guys have enjoyed it if you did please subscribe and hit the bell icon Also don't forget to follow Gorang on Instagram I will leave a link in the description so please check it out You can also follow me on Instagram at Suraj Mehta I will leave a link in the description What a year it's been the year and the show has come to an end and I just want to say thank you so much guys for watching and supporting it really means a lot and I'll see you soon with something else interesting and entertaining Until then please like share and subscribe and I'll see you soon bye